hello world welcome to another video so today what we are going to solve is something called as creating a phone number again as you can notice this is a rank six one and it is something that has been given to me in the rank up series you can change this to whatever you want so i'm just going to stay in the rank up and then i'm going to train with that so create a phone number what exactly is this so you need to write a function that accepts an array of 10 integers between zero and nine, okay. Uh, that returns a string uh, of those numbers in the form of a phone number, okay. So you get something like this and then you return a string, okay. The returned uh, format must be correct in order to complete this challenge, okay. Don't forget the spaces, space after the, closing parentheses all right so the first three numbers should be inside the parentheses okay let's just say this mm, array of 10 integers is our input right and then what we need to do is travel through the array right after you travel through the array, you add first three integers in the resulting string, right? And then after you do that, you again uh, travel through the array, add next three integers and then a hyphen, right? So first what you need to do is add this parentheses, then you add that, then you add the closing parentheses with a space, right? And then you travel through, you add the next three integers and then that and then add the rest, right? So we can use uh, the splice method, right? So let's just see what exactly is this splice method. See, array.splice. So basically you say splice methods adds or removes item from an array and then this method changes the original array, right? That is what we want. So what we need to do is index. So starting from this, how many elements do you want to remo uh, remove, right? So we have an array now. Let's just say, let hmm, phone number equal to us. Wait, it returns, what does it return? returns the removed items, right? Okay. So let's just say phone number is equal to uh, this numbers dot splice. Starting from zero, I need three, right? So I'm just going to console log this phone number to see what exactly is happening. Console log phone number, right? Let's just test it out. So we have an array. So what we need to do is let's let's do this. We are going to call this as a string. And then initially, right? Initially, it's going to have the opening braces, right? So later, once we slice the first three strings, we need phone number equal to, so plus equal to phone number of number of slices blah 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 dot join at nothing right let's just test this out i need one two three perfect so after you do this again phone number plus equal to uh uh the closing braces and the space, right? 
So you get that, cool. After that, what we need to do is again have this very same statement over here and then test it out. So we need to get the next three numbers, perfect. After this, we need to again just add a hyphen, right? So after you add a hyphen, you just need to splice everything and join it. You need not specify the limit because whatever is in the end, it is just going to join them, right? So this is all, right? Like, so later you just need to return phone number. That's it for this, I guess, pretty simple. Obviously, there might be an efficient way, but this was pretty straightforward. Let's just check it out for every other number. Yep, it works for all the test cases, one or three test cases. So, yeah, that was pretty much it. Pretty straightforward, creating a phone number. Just write again, as I told, as I've spoken in the previous videos, you just need this pseudo code. Once you write down the pseudo code, you just need to translate that into a code, right? So yeah, I'm just, you know what, I'm just going to keep the comments and I'm just going to submit this. Let's just see what other guys have done. So yeah, if you see here, they have done the pretty much the same thing, right? Somebody has also added a format and they have used replace X. Oh, this is kind of nice. So every time you encounter something, you just replace X with so-and-so. So yeah, that is also pretty good. You can do this as well. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.